right, welcome back to the channel. Today, I just wanted to discuss um, actually a mastermind call that I just had with my weekly uh, mastermind group. Um, this is something I've not really pushed public yet, and I will probably in a couple weeks once I have more content in there. Um, but right now, every week, I host a small mastermind group. Right now, I have 10 members, and I think Toby had like 17 people in there, which includes some employees and, and teams and stuff. Um, but today, I just wanted to kind of go over what we talked about and just some exciting stuff that I think I wanted to share with my audience. So hopefully you find some something uh, insightful and let's go through it. So first, very first thing was PMAX best practices. Honestly, this is the main thing I think a lot of PPC managers and brands are struggling with, just how to best think about performance max campaigns, how to test them, how to structure them, and how to scale them. Um, so this one was definitely an eye opener. Uh, every week we kind of go over performance max with what we tested. A lot of stuff today was talking about new customer acquisition and how to best set that up and what Google recommends. Um, there's some duplication in there that they want you to do. And it was overall a really good test. And we actually have two members right now running some tests and kind of seeing how we're going to get that uh, to improve going forward since the new customer only bidding strategy has been something of a not the best use so far. Um, and then also, how does YouTube fare with that? We actually had a member saying they had a YouTube campaign that then killed our performance max campaign, which is, I've never heard of that yet. Uh, we actually came with some, with some solutions for them. So interesting to see how that goes. Uh, Shopify conversion tracking. Now this thing, uh, yeah, pretty easy to do. Um, all the members kind of use their own little way, but most of them just use the code itself and uh, paste into the Shopify checkout. Um, there are ways you can do with GTM, just how it's a little more advanced than a lot of people go into that. Uh, for that, brand awareness for new product launches. Probably the best part of the overall talk I thought was uh, an agency was talking about how to best, they have a TikTok client who kills it on TikTok and they don't do anything on Google Ads yet. Um, and we're kind of coming up with ways how to hype up a launch or a product release when there's a very short time, like they're talking like an hour before it sells out. Um, and we talked about some really cool strategies using both YouTube for like overall awareness and kind of videos you can see ads, which are down here, um, an actual applicable situation to use that. And then just very easy, you know, uh, remarketing tactics they can use for that when they have hundreds of thousands of site visitors within a short time period. Um, fashion brand strategies. Uh, pretty much talking about how search isn't really the best way and then how to set, how to use Saren Shopping and uh, Performance Max now with a, a fashion brand when it kind of changes month over month or quarter over quarter when new launches and stuff like that. Um, scaling on YouTube, talking about uh, some campaigns and accounts that are about 100K or more on just YouTube alone and how to best do that with campaign structure and stuff like that. Uh, video, sequence, video sequencing ads we already discussed, uh, talking about hyping up a product. Um, a very underutilized video type that I think a lot of people should try. Um, main thing is you can present a story over a uh, number of videos and a, a user will only see number video two, three, four, et cetera, unless they, they had a certain threshold in the first one. So very good thing to do, especially when you're trying to tell a story or introduce customers to a new brand, topics, stuff like that. And then we kind of got into some data feed testing theories, how to best do that when you have a large amount of SKUs. Um, a lot of times people just kind of make a change, wait X amount of days, compare it, but it does get a little, little dicey when you have seasonality, promos, what products have you got spent and stuff like that. So we talked a little bit how we can do that. Still kind of an area, a gray area that I want to go into more and figure out if there's a way to properly test a large amount of SKUs with new titles, attributes, stuff like that, or even um, photos or excuse me, creatives. And then we also talked about some PMAC cannibalization, excuse my spelling there, I know I spelled it wrong. Um, main thing is kind of how to best set up your search campaigns and your shopping campaigns to make sure PMAX doesn't steal all the traffic, which I did actually discussed a video about this last week on the search side, not so much shopping. Um, but yeah, just a quick recap of today. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Um, if you'd like to kind of go into the mastermind as well, I'll have more information about that probably in a week or two. Um, yeah, all right, have a good day, bye.